So a company by the name of Alcatel recently reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to try out a rugged phone. I'm going to unbox this phone today and I'm going to tell you about some of the features of it. And then I'm going to take this phone on a hiking adventure and I'm going to show you how I use it. So let's get this unboxed here. It's got a nice high quality box. I like the design on it. And inside we of course have a phone here. And one of the great things about the phone in here, this phone does come with a ruggedized case that it's already built into. So you don't have to buy a separate case. It's right there. Over here on the side, you have the power button and then you have the up and down volume buttons right here. And on the back, you have the cameras. And this phone does of course run on Android. So this is Android OS. And one of the things I notice right away is despite this phone being rugged, it is a pretty thin design. When I've looked at rugged phones before and considered them, typically they're a very thick, heavy design. So I do like the design on this one. The fact that it is this thin is rather nice. And one of the things I notice right away is the quality of the display. The display looks really good. It's got good bright colors on there. The resolution feels good. So let's take a look at what else we get in this box. Down underneath here, we do also have a user manual. And not every phone comes with a user manual anymore. A lot of phones do not. So if you like a user manual, I do, it's good to have in there. And then there's some other uh, paperwork here, warranty certificate, that type of thing. And then down underneath, we have a charging brick and it looks to be a USB-C charging brick. Let's take a look down under here. Yes, it is USB-C, which I love USB-C. This is the year 2024. USB-C is a standard with a lot of things now. So I love it when phones have a USB-C charger. And in addition, we of course have a USB-C cable to go with the charging brick. And this charging brick based on the size looks to have a pretty good wattage. It does say fast charging and it is an 18 watt charging brick. So that's great. That means this brick will fast charge this phone. So let's talk about some of the specs on this phone. First of all, this phone does have an 11,000 milliamp hour battery. 11,000 milliamp hours is plenty of charge for a phone. Based on that, I do not have any worries about this phone running out of battery power while I'm hiking. In addition, if I did have any concerns or wanted to keep it charged up, I could simply bring along one of my power banks with USB-C and that would do the trick for me. This phone does also have the MediaTek Dimensity 6100 Plus processor inside. That is a good processor. It's of course not super high end, but it is mid grade. And for the price of this phone, which we'll talk about in a moment, that is a really good processor. This phone does also have eight gigabytes of RAM and the specific phone that I have also has 256 gigabytes of storage. Now the phone does have a 64 megapixel rear camera and it does have a 32 megapixel front camera. In addition, it also has an eight megapixel night vision camera. And the display on here is 6.6 .6 inch FHD plus which is a pretty good size display. And when it comes to video on this phone, this phone does have 1440p video. And perhaps most importantly, the cost of this phone. This phone does cost less than $300. And when it's on sale, it does go for $250, which is a great price for all of those specs and features. So as far as how I will use this phone, my plans for this phone are to do a couple different things when I'm hiking. So we're out here on a hike now with the phone. I've got it right here. So I've got it logging my mileage. And I also have my Onyx off-road on here so I can track where we are in this wilderness area because we're doing a little bit of off-trail hiking today as well. I love it that Onyx off-road, I can download the offline maps on here and there's plenty of room because there's 256 gigabytes of storage. So I don't have to worry about it getting too full, plenty of room for maps, because when you're in the wilderness, there's often not cell signal. So you gotta have those maps if you're depending on them. This guy right here loves looking at the Onyx maps as well, don't you? Yeah. He's a great navigator. The other great thing about a rugged phone 
is if the little hands want to hang on to it and drop it, don't have to worry about it getting broken. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some photos with it now because I wanna test out the photo quality on here. Snap a couple pictures. So right here I'm doing a 64 megapixel, big photo. How we looking? I like this perspective right here for another photo. It is a hot, humid day today. So overall, I'm very impressed with the Alcatel WP35. I've taken some pictures and video, used it with Onyx Off-Road, and I've also used it as a pedometer. And it's hit the ground a few times. Just pick it up, dust it off, it's good to go. No damage to it due to that rugged case and the screen protector. The, the dot is almost to the bottom of the trail. You think we're almost back? Yes. So if you love to have adventures in the outdoors or you just want a phone that you don't have to worry about easily breaking and you don't want a phone that costs an arm and a leg, I definitely recommend checking out the Alcatel WP35. After bringing this along in an adventure, I found that it had plenty of battery power. I liked the camera for some photos and then I also liked the pedometer and the ability to use my Onyx off-road mapping app on here. If you're interested in checking out the Alcatel WP35 to see if it's right for you, I have linked to it in the description below. Thanks again to Alcatel for sending me this phone so I could share it with you.